She on the beat. Let's get this thing rolling. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a cartoon head with your mouse only. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do a high definition, high quality cartoon head only using the mouse and the mouse pad. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. First thing you wanna do. You want to find a picture you want to use. You want to drag and drop that thing. Okay. As soon as you put it inside the program, drop the opacity down. Okay. We got it down just good enough. We can see all the detail, man. Say about right there. Then you want to lock that layer. Create you a new layer right above it. Now. To keep from making this a super long video, I'm going to just show you guys the technique I use first, and then I'm going to time lapse the video. So what you want to use is, you want to come over here to your brush, and you, wait, not your brush, you want to come to the uh, ellipse tool, and you want to create you a brush. So you grab this circle, and you stretch it out into it make sharp points you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just stretch it out to it give me some sharp looking points okay make sure this is locked Move this black color to the top and make sure the bottom one is locked. Okay, we're gonna zoom in a little closer. Okay, to get these. Okay. Like the way that look. So while this is still selected, you want to come over here to this drop down menu. Then you want to click new brush. Then you want to click art brush. Then you want to hit OK. And now you want to come down here, then you want to click OK again. Come back to your brush tool. And now we just got this brush we just created. You know what I'm saying? So that's the brush we made for our mouse. Another thing you want to do, you want to double click onto the brush. And then you want to bring your smoothness all the way up. And then you want to hit OK. Now we're gonna zoom in on our picture. And what you do is, with a steady hand, you try to go as slow as you can so you get more control. Then you just wanna follow the line as good as possible. Okay, that's pretty cool. And instead of trying to start right here, like that, we're gonna overshoot our lines. Oh, wait, I want to bring the size down on this brush. So I'm going to select this, this line. And I'm going to come over here to this drop down menu. And I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, go back to our brush. And we're going to overshoot our line. Meaning we're going to make it cross the line we just made. And with a steady hand. Doing, we just crossing the lines. Go ahead and make this. We can do that over. Speaking of, we just grab this line and move it up just a little bit. Right, that's cool. Back to our brush tool. Let's, with a steady hand, let's try to make it as best as we can. Almost had it. 
See, it's a little more time consuming when you're using your mouse, but it can be done. Okay. And now that we overshot these lines, I'm gonna show you why we did that. Let's highlight all the lines together. Let's go to expand appearance. And then on your pathfinder, you wanna click divide. So now we can go to this white selection tool and we can delete the lines we overshot just by hitting delete twice. You know what I'm saying? So now that just helped us make some clean, sharp line work. You feel me? So we just gonna do that process throughout the line work so now i'm finna um time lapse this so we can speed it up a little bit let it go Just make a random color, we're gonna do gray. Then we're gonna go to our rectangle tool and drag that color gray on top of our line work. Then we're gonna right click the color gray and send to back. Then we're gonna select everything together. Then we're gonna click merge. So we make the gray become one with the line work. Right click the gray, go to isolate, select group. Now, gonna delete all the gray we don't want but the only place we're gonna keep it it's inside the eyes and where the hair is supposed to be now we're gonna sample this color black I mean we just gonna click the gray my bad Select the gray by holding shift and you select all the gray area. Hold shift. We're gonna select all the gray. And now we're gonna go to our dropper tool and then we're gonna sample this color black. Okay. And now that's what we got. You feel me? We're gonna select the entire picture again. We're gonna go to expand appearance and then we're gonna click 
merge on our pathfinder so all that can become one line and there you have it now what we finna do is go ahead and go to our uh pencil tool double click onto your pencil tool make sure your settings look like mine move your smoothness all up on your all the way to the top on your pencil tool make sure your color is at the top and the bottom one is locked now we finna zoom in and we're gonna add some finer detail. All you do is you try your best and just trace it. Just try your best to trace it with your mouse. You see how I'm tracing the outline of the eyebrows? Then you wanna come back. and do the same as that thing. Trace the outline with your mouse as best as you can.
Now what we finna do is we finna make a copy of the line work. So you want want to drag it to this blank sheet of paper, lock the top copy, find you a base tone to start out with for the skin tone. rectangle tool and drag that color over the entire picture and you want to right click the color go to arrange send to back you want to highlight everything and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder right click the color again go to isolate select group and now we get to delete that outer color because we don't need it Zoom in, hold shift. I'm gonna change the color of the eyes to white, to the lips. Now that we made a base color layer, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a copy of this layer by dragging it to this blank sheet of paper. Then you wanna lock the bottom copy, turn the eye off, go to the copy in the center, and hit this drop down menu. You wanna scroll down till you see the last black line work. Then you wanna lock all those layers the black line work and keep the top two unlocked and then you want to close it back now what we're going to do we're going to delete the skin tone out of this layer but we're going to keep the eyes and the lip color so just delete the skin tone okay Make sure we get all the colors that's trapped inside the hair. All right, cool. Cool is good. Now we can bring that bottom color back by turning the eye on. Let's create a new layer in between the base color layer and the color layer with just the eyes and the lips. Now, you wanna go to your pencil tool and I'ma I'm gonna shade this entire picture just using my pencil tool. So, all I do is, I start with my dark shadows first and then I place all the dark shadows where it need to go. And every time I go lighter with my shadows, I create a new layer. And I, the lighter I go, I put that new layer under the, the layer that's darker than the one that I'm adding. So I start with my dark tone. After I put all my dark tones on, on the picture, I go a little lighter. And I, I put every, every time I go lighter, I add a new layer for it. So that's what I'm about to do.
there you have it you guys how to draw a cartoon head just using your mouse let me see how this look go ahead make it a little big where y'all can see it make sure you stay tuned more heat coming soon and i'm out deep